And so this is optional viewing now. So I know this has been a long video. You can feel free to pause here. But if you want to hear a little more about applications, um, this is kind of a passion of mine as a personal trainer. Um, we'll just spend just a couple more minutes on some of these applications. So in healthy muscle, you know, when you're a 20 year old, your muscle is going to be pretty healthy. Um, it's going to look, this is a cross section here. So um, we're, what we're seeing is we've got these cross sections of muscle fibers. Each of these is going to be one of those individual muscle fibers. And then this entire structure is going to be our muscle. And so this is a very healthy tissue. It's mainly muscle fibers. We have a tiny bit of connective tissue, um, things like our um, endomesium, which is in gray here. Those are going to make up that about 4% of connective tissue. And then you usually will have just a little bit of adipose tissue. Now, over time, and this can actually set in around age 30, 30 years and over, if you don't use that muscle, it can start to atrophy. So this is a pretty extreme example. This is probably a 70 or 80 year old, if you had to guess. Um, but what happens is if you don't use the muscle, you're going to lose it. So gradually, muscle is going to be replaced by adipose tissue. We might see a little more of that connective tissue as well. And so this kind of remodeling is very common. Um, at the studio where I work, uh, we focus on working with elderly clients who have had this muscle atrophy just from age or injury over time. And so um, a lot of that is not reversible. Once you do lose it, once it converts to connective tissue, it cannot convert back. But there are things we can do, things like resistance training, to help prevent and slow that natural loss of muscle mass. And so we call that term sarcopenia. It is just the age-related loss of muscle. And so a lot of what I do with resistance training is helping these aging clients to reverse that process and, and just there are untold benefits that come with having a healthier musculoskeletal system. You could spend a whole semester on it, so we're just not going to have time to cover it here. Um, but a lot of what we do is based around our knowledge of muscles. The stuff that we learn in anatomy is, is applied at my job. And so this is all helpful information. I do recommend resistance training because the muscle that is usually lost through this atrophy is type 2 muscle. And that's the type we use to produce a lot of force quickly. Everyday things like lifting, walking up the stairs getting out of a chair, things that we take for granted now are a lot harder once this muscle atrophy sets in. You lose balance and coordination. It has hormonal effects. So a lot of good stuff can come from resistance training. So that's just my little PSA to you. While you can, maintain the muscle you have. Do a little resistance training, weight training. Do something fun just to help keep your muscles moving and uh, prevent some of that remodeling. So thank you for listening. Um, this covers intro to muscles. We went a little more in depth than we needed to, but I think this is all good information to know as we prepare for the muscle unit.